a big stage like this, or whether you're doing a podcast, or a television interview, or you're talking to a potential customer one-on-one, -on -one, if you incorporate these four R's, you will convert more. And why is converting more important? Because conversion is the highway to transformation. So you can't transform lives if you ain't converting nobody. Don't ever forget that transformation never happens without a transaction. So we need to get more transactions and more conversion so that we can help more people. You get to impact millions while you make millions. The first R is your message has to be relevant. And when I mean relevant, what's currently happening right now? What you're speaking about and what you're teaching, is it relevant to current trends and technology? What's happening in the world landscape? Is it applicable to what's happening with your client right now? You gotta ask yourself the question, is it relevant to the problem that they have right now or a desire that they wanna feel right now, today? And if so, guess what? They will pay you for the solution today. Let me give an example really quickly of relevant, a million dollar message that's relevant. So pre-COVID, I was teaching my clients, which includes some career professionals as well as entrepreneurs and leaders, I was teaching them how to come on stages like this and be captivating and compelling so that they can increase their conversion. Why? You increase your conversion, you, you increase your bank account. And I was teaching them all of these strategies for really making great use of the stage and creating engagement with the audience and connecting. But when COVID hit, everything shut down. Every live stage was gone. It was done. In fact, I delivered more than 300 virtual keynotes during COVID. Wow. So my question became, well, how do I keep my message for my clients relevant? The people that I'm teaching how to get on stage and be able to share their message. And what I did was I made a list of the top 10 questions that I knew my clients would be wondering and asking themselves, and I turned that into content. So I knew that my clients would wanna know, well now that there's no live stages, how do I, how do I find virtual speaking engagements? And, and how much do I charge for those speaking engagements that are virtual? What should my negotiation tactics be for my speaker fee? I made a list of 10 questions and turned those into digital trainings, turn those into webinars, turn those into classes, master classes and master sessions, so that I could still not just survive in business during COVID, but thrive. So you can do the same thing. Ask yourself, what are the top 10 questions my clients want to know today that I can create solutions to, responses to, and monetize today? Number two, 